Welcome, 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 Soul Tribe. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for tapping into the channel. We're going to jump right straight into the messages that the Divine Spirit has for us on this day. Um, don't know what's coming out, but we're going to see. We're going to let Spirit guide us through this, as always. So, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the Divine Collective, for the Cosmic Gods and Goddesses at this time? Remember to only take what resonates and to leave what does not. That's very important. If it doesn't apply, simply let it fly. With that being said, collect a welcome, welcome, welcome to my A1 Day Ones, to my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you. Let's hear from the Spirit. What would you like for the collective to know at this time? What would you like for them to be aware of? Please and thank you. Out of love, light, and truth. Somebody's been avoiding telling somebody something. Somebody needs to reveal the truth here. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's been affected by something. You know, somebody's feeling pretty unstable about a situation here. Somebody's avoiding someone here. Maybe somebody hasn't been in contact with somebody or they haven't been in communication with somebody here. Somebody's in deep thought about this. Somebody's really affected by this. What's your spirit? Why is somebody avoiding somebody here? Please and thank you. It's the energy I'm going to hear collective. Why is somebody avoiding somebody? Spirit, please and thank you. What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Please and thank you. Wow, either somebody here has an infatuation with somebody else. Okay, or they may have an addiction. Some sort of obsession here. Somebody's feeling pretty unstable about something here. Wow. The loss of someone. Hmm. Depression. Sorrow. Somebody's going through it because somebody's avoiding telling them something here. Telling them how they feel about something or someone. What's your spirit? Yeah. About a negative attachment. A third party. Okay. Or that they've been influenced by somebody or... I don't know. This person that I'm picking up on is... Feeling bad about being in a third party? Being infatuated by someone else? This is affecting them emotionally? Okay. Um, feeling a lot of sorrow. Possibly regret. Yeah. I'm getting that they're they're drained. It's been a long time. They've been at this a long time. Okay. With this third party. It's been going on for a while. They really want to give it up. Wow. It's really affecting them. It's causing a lot of instability within someone here. Causing them to be depressed, depressed about um 
this third party infatuation that they have here. Okay, or they are that they've had. If they've recently broken up with their person and they want to return. They want to make amends. This is what's affecting this person. And they're feeling a lot of instability here. Like a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. Hmm. For cheating with this third party. Yeah. For even having the infatuation. They're feeling drained. Sad for keeping secrets from you. From keeping the secret infatuation or the secret that they had some adoration for someone else or that they were addicted to someone else. Yeah, they want to release the stress. They want to release the stress because it's causing them a lot of depression. The secret affair that they had. Okay, could have been with someone new. Yeah. What else is here, Spirit? Hmm. Yeah, they feel the need to let the stress go. I'm getting that the third party is kind of wearing this person down here. Yeah. They wanted to let the fantasy go. They about the third party. All right. Yeah, they want to let go of the thought of fulfilling this fantasy with this third party. But they're having a hard time with letting this third party go. And it's making them feel bad inside because whoever you are, collective, they want to make amends. Not with, the, with just you, but with, them, with themselves. They don't want to keep any more secrets. But they have been keeping secrets. That they have a, a strong desire for a third party here. And this is exhausting this person. Yeah. Because they've been at this for a while. This secret affair. Fulfilling their fantasies. They're ready to release the stress, the tension. There could have been arguments between you two. Because you knew that there was something that you didn't know. That this person was hiding from you. Some sort of mystery. You felt it. You felt they were hiding something. What else is here, Spirit? What's the collective need to know? What they need to be aware of at this time? I'm getting the secrets coming out. That could be affecting this person right now too. And they may not have a second chance with you. Hmm. Yeah. Right now they're uncertain about the relationship with you. They're unclear about when the secret comes out that they've been having a secret affair with someone new. They may possibly lose you. Yeah, they were hoping he wouldn't find out. They're hoping he wouldn't find out about this. Because they don't plan on coming clean. This person doesn't plan on coming clean about it. Hmm. Because they don't feel like they're going to not give up this secret affair. And this is eating this person up inside. 
but for some reason they keep doing it they keep wow taking advantage of the opportunity they keep hiding the fact that they are having a secret affair they keep hiding the fact that they're having a secret affair on you and that they are infatuated with someone else they have an obsession with a third party and every time they return to you they know that they're hiding the secret and it bothers them inside right hmm but what I'm getting here collective is that somehow around you they have done this for quite some time now that they're not as cautious with the secret as they used to be they're getting more bolder we're taking up the opportunities to be with the secret partner because they don't want it to end the secret love affair they don't want to stop doing it they don't want to let go of the fantasy I get that you feel they're concealing something but you don't know what it was this is what it is, the third party yeah Your person may have seen a little withdrawn here lately, here as of late. Kinda going off by themselves, thinking, you know, just in solitude or in silent thought. And that's because they're thinking about the person they're obsessing over. Hmm. Wow. Bonding with this person, the secret admirer. Bonding. Hmm. Yeah. Thinking about, wow, this is crazy. Being with you, collective, and thinking about making love with this other person at the same time. Hmm. This infatuation is pretty strong with this this uh, secret lover they got. This third party. Because they don't want this shit to be over. Hmm. I don't know. For some of you, I feel like uh, they're trying to be cautious, but they're kind of a... Uh, I don't know. They're taking every opportunity to be with the secret lover they can. That's what Spirit said. And they don't plan on telling you about it. They want to keep keep the secret lover a secret. This is why it's called a secret lover. Wow. But at the same time, they don't want it to be over with you. Either. Hmm. I think it's some type of uh, I'm getting enjoyment of having a secret lover of concealing this from you wow but the infatuation with the secret lover is getting more and more intense is what I'm picking up here because every opportunity your person gets they go be with the secret lover they're becoming more and more obsessive with the secret lover. Hmm. And for some of y'all, they feel they feel sad and depressed when they're not with the secret lover, even though they're with you too. 
Hmm. I'm getting there getting bolder and bolder with this. That's what I'm getting here. Like bolder and bolder. Like, wow. What's this? Yeah, because they're not willing to let this, this person go, whoever this is. Whoever this secret lover is, they're not willing to let this person go. Wow. What else is here, Spirit? Yeah. They're wanting this person. They're wanting this person. Wow. It's almost like they they're getting more and more enjoyment out of this secret relationship here. The secret of fear. For some of you they're not wanting to hide it anymore. Hmm. For a lot of you, they don't want it to be over with you. They don't want to cause you any pain. But they don't want to tell you about this secret affair they're having. But they're becoming more addicted and more obsessed with this person they're having a secret affair with. Yeah. Wow. Maybe when they, I don't know, go to bed with you, for those of you who live together, they may tell you that they're tired or exhausted, or they've had a full day, or they worked out, or long day at the gym, long day at the job. Well, Spirit said, it was a long day with the secret admirer. This person is living a double life. They're living a double life. Yeah. Wow. They may be telling you that they're that they only open their heart to you. But that would be a lie. That's in the reverse. Hmm. What else is here? They open their heart up to the secret admirer too. This one they're having a secret affair with. They're becoming more obsessed with this secret lover. Hmm. What else would you like to collect or know? Yeah. The third party has been taking pics for proof. That shows how much a person is obsessed with them. Wow. This third party karmic. Hmm. They're getting more and more involved with one another. Yeah. You may have called your person. Or this third party may have called your person. And they couldn't answer. Or yeah. Because they were asleep. Beside me. Hmm. Maybe you were. Asleep. Beside your person and. The secret lover called them and they couldn't answer. They felt bad that they couldn't answer. The call. When the secret lover called them. My secret yeah. The secret partner. They got lover. They have a secret lover. They're becoming more and more obsessed with one another here. Hmm. They call your person when you're asleep next to them. Your person feels bad when they can't answer their call too. The third party's call. What else is here, spirit? This is what they're hiding from you. Third party karmic. They love taking pictures. Because they're obsessed too. 
Ouais. I guess they keep them for... I don't know. Because they're obsessed. They take pictures for proof. That your person loves them or is obsessed with them. And they're obsessed with your person. Collective, like your person's a cheater. Wow. Yeah, see, they're at a crossroad. Your person needs to make a decision between you and this person that they become more and more obsessed with. Their relationship is becoming more intense. Hmm. They were thinking about making a choice between you and this secret lover. This person they're having a secret affair with this third party karmic. This plays over and over in their hair, like to the point where they get tired. They may tell you they're exhausted. It's because they know they have to make a decision. They have to make a choice. They don't want to hurt you. But they don't want to tell you about the secret lover either. They don't want to tell you how much they want the secret lover, how much they're obsessed with the secret lover. Yeah, your person's going through it. Mm. There is a some uncertainty about whether they fully want to commit to the secret lover, but they definitely want them. What else is here, Sphere? Please and thank you. What's the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. What's going on with their person? Why is their person hiding this from them? They're getting messages from this third party lover that they're obsessed with. Hate when they miss the opportunity not to talk to them. They're trying to be cautious. But they're getting, I don't know, the obsession is just growing. Like, yeah, this third party is having more and more of an influence over your person. I know your person is to the point where they feel like they need to make a decision, a choice between the two of you. What else is here? And your person uh, definitely open up their heart to this third party. Yeah. When they're with you, they're only thinking about returning to the third party. Wow. Hmm. You feel like they were concealing something. Hmm. What else? Yeah, they're selling you a dream, a fantasy, but fulfilling theirs. That's what Spirit said. But see, this third party doesn't compare to you. And your person knows that. Hmm. That's why they could never confess this to you. The obsession they have with this secret lover. This secret affair that they're having on you. Collective. What else do that collective need to be aware of about their person? They're getting bolder and bolder with this third party. Hmm. Wow, the obsession is becoming more intense.
thought they got away. Wow. Now we have. Hmm. With the karmic now. So for some of you. You're going to bust your person. So they may have thought they had gotten away with having a secret love affair without you finding out. But you're apprehensive too. There's something... I don't know if it's going to take for you to feel really hurt inside. And you're going to know intuitively that they're with their secret lover, their secret karmic lover at this particular time. I don't know. What's going to happen, Spirit? But, yeah. Spirit said, yeah, I think they, they're getting away with this, keeping this a secret from you. But every time you feel pain, like in your heart, you know, that your person is doing something. That's when they're with the karmic. Wow. Because you have a a soul tie with your person. That's why you can feel it. That's why you're gonna feel it. Wow. It's something that comes over you. That's when they're with the karmic. That's what Spirit said. Hmm. The third party karmic, the secret that Mario person got, it's just an influence. Hmm. They have some type of influence on your person, okay? That they maybe tell your person that they, they don't love you as much as they do because if they did they wouldn't be with them and your person would want to hurt you oh well, no they wouldn't want to hurt you but they wouldn't want you to find out neither but your person's told you so many lies they're starting to believe in their own damn lies okay what Spirit said. What else is here? Yeah, your person's been lying to you so much. They're starting to believe in their own lies. Mm. Yeah. The man told you, oh, you may ask him why their phone ringing so much. They'll tell you it's prank phone calls. Hmm. Spirit said they know who calling. It's a secret lover calling. The one they're having a secret affair with. There ain't no prank calls. But some of y'all, y'all person told this uh, person that they were single. And yeah, the secret lover, they told them that they were single. And they knew that they were not. Your person just wanted them. Your person had a fantasy to fulfill, an obsession with being with this karmic. Hmm. Wow. They may have thought they got away with it, especially if they cheated before, and they chose you that they wasn't, you know, seeing that person anymore. Spirit said they still seeing them. Wow. And you can find some detailed information about that somehow. So something that'll be revealed to you. Well I'll be darned. You may find some some messages or something. Cause your person show not gonna reveal this to you. They're not gonna come clean. But somehow you're going to find some 
because your person won't confess, you're going to find some detailed information about this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. See, the sex is, is different with you and this karmic. That your person is, wow, going over for seconds and thirds and fourths. Okay, the sex is different. That's the fantasy, that's the obsession your person has. So every opportunity they get, they take it. And they've lied to you so much about where they've been or what they've been doing. But they're starting to believe in their own lies. Hmm. What else is here? What's collecting me to know? Holy Spirit. What do they need to be aware of? Hmm. Mm -hmm. The sex is different. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's like a spicy encounter to them. Like, they're afraid to let it go. I don't know. I guess the karma gets spicy. You know, in the bed. Alright? Yeah, they like spicy encounters. Your person does, but... They figure you're always too busy. Hmm. Narcissist behavior. Narcissistic, narcissistic thoughts. They blame you for being too busy. When it's them too busy cheating. With this secret lover over here. And by the time they get to you. They're exhausted. But yet they blame you. But they're out having spicy encounters. Because the sex is different. And it fulfills some type of fantasy they have. Wow. Yeah, this person be calling them. They probably tell you that they spam calls or something like that. They know it's their person and they hate when they can't answer the call. When this third party karma calls. Because a lot of times you're laying right next to your person. Give us more sphere. Give us more. Please and thank you. One more. Spirit said you don't get confirmation. You're going to get some detailed information here. Them tables gonna turn. Ooh. What else is here? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, they've been wanting this person all right. Spirit said that's your confirmation. They 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 ache for this other person. Yeah. And right up under that it says you betrayed me for the last time. So I don't know if your person cheated before. But they cheated with this person several times. Okay. Let's get a final message. Mm. No more of this text for you, please and thank you. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that person has been disloyal. Turn in reverse. 
Yeah. Some of you don't even believe him anymore. Okay. Some of you guys want out. Some of you guys are not aware, but you'll be finding out that your person has a secret lover. That's what Spirit said. You're going to get some confirmation. Now, let me see. I've been guided to get a message from Archangel Michael for you. I was got to get to see if it was somebody you know or how someone you find out. So Holy Spirit, can you give a doctor like some confirmation on this please and thank you. Dex says, listen to your intuition. But let's see. But another person that their person is cheating with. Let's collect another person that their person is cheating with. Oh. It says, be assertive. That means take action. Some type of action needs to be taken. Let's collect another person that their person is cheating with. Let's collect another person's secret lover. Please and thank you. another person that the person is cheating on. Please and thank you. I know it says remain positive. I don't know. Things might improve before you decide to give up on your person, but whatever yes or no comes out. Let's see. If you know this person or not. Let me say, what does collective need to be aware of? For some of you, it says remain positive, things may improve. Let's see. Maybe after you. You know, find out about this third party karmic and you get to do some information. And you find out about the disloyalty. Spirits that remain positive. Especially if you find out on the strawberry moon. Okay. And you have success in that relationship. Well, what about the others? Holy Spirit. Person, no. Your person is going to make a decision or a choice between the two of you. Hmm. Whether you stay or go, it's up to you. If you stay, it's up to you. If you go, it's up to you. But your person is not going to leave the karmic alone. That answer was no. They're not going to leave the karmic alone. They're not going to leave the third party alone. And you're going to need to make a decision, not a choice. And spirit is leaving that up to you. Okay. 
or whatever decision you will make, there will be a recovery. Okay. Hmm. Spirit is just calling on you to trust right now. Okay. Anything else? Anything else you like for the collective or not? Before I get the angel message out. And the spirit guides and the ancestors. And the ancient gods and goddesses. Please and thank you. Wow. This could take place uh, between now and a year from now. Before you guys find out. Or get your confirmation here. Okay. Wow. Between now and a year from now. Before any action is taken. So let's get uh, Andrew message out. Okay. But you will recover. Whatever choice is made in this situation. You will recover. But your person does have a secret lover. Alright. Let's see the Holy Spirit. What do you need the collective to be aware of? What do you need them to know at this time? Somebody could be done with an earth sign. Like the earth sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, Aries sign. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Any sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> wow. What's here? What's the message for the collective? Savings. Right now, savings are important. Okay, saving for the future. Okay. As you as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life's purpose. Okay. So some of y'all need to be saving some money. Okay. I don't know. You've been doing yourself a big favor. Mm hmm. Wow. Even if it's just putting a little bit back, you know, each each time you get paid or something like that. This may come as a big help in the future here. Um, help you feel more secure. Okay. Maybe that's why recovery is here. Okay. And in doing that, you know, uh, you'll be successful. Okay. That's why spirits say remain positive. Okay. Because somebody's worried about that here. Their financial stability here. So it's positivity, faith, and op optimism. Okay. You have an angelic guy here that wants you to stay strong. You could be a Leo. Or it could be highly aspected in your chart. It says positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Okay? Whoever you are, just know your situation will improve. Just remain positive. Whether or not you find out your person is cheating or when you find out your person is cheating or they have a secret lover, just remain positive and know. Set some money back for that rainy day. Okay? Set some money back. That's what Spirit is saying. Save for the future. You'll be doing yourself a big favor. 
this is a part of your self-care okay is feeling secure as you focus upon your life's purpose okay because we can't we can't determine what other people are gonna do we can only hope that they do the right thing but we can't always depend on them doing the right thing like this person here is you know unfortunately your person has a secret lover and they and they don't want to stop cheating but spirit is opening the doorway for you for positive experiences and opportunities okay with positive expectations your energy keep it positive okay and things will improve for you if not with this person with somebody else this is temporary spirit said this setback is temporary okay do not let it interfere with the path that you're on keep the faith and keep going because some of you guys may not find out this you know it could be from now up until a year from now but you will recover keep the faith and keep going don't let this one person stop you because they want to cheat they're not getting away with it that's what spirit said they're not getting away with this they thought they get away with it, but spirits are they ain't getting away with it. Yeah, because what's done in the dark come to the light. Wow. Wow. I just cut to this and I've just been inspired to read it. It says visualize abundance in all forms. Especially now, during this full moon. For some of you, okay? Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful and positive and filled with blessings and that is what you will experience. Okay? Because Remaining positive is going to improve your whole situation. And you're going to come out victorious. You're going to come out successful. Okay? Wow. Well, I hope someone gets something out of this. You know? Um, wow. Just know that your person is like selling you a dream, a fantasy, or something like that. While they're fulfilling their fantasy with a secret lover. Okay? That they are somehow obsessed with. Okay, they were trying to keep this from you, keep it hidden from you. But Spirit said, yeah, they thought they got away, but Spirit got them. Spirit is going to take care of it for you. All right. Till next time, stay positive. Don't forget to put some of those savings back. You know, stay positive, keep the faith, and stay optimistic. Till next time, namaste for now.